Hey guys and welcome back. Today is a hairstyling tutorial. I have been growing out my pixie and I'm really excited to get long, thick, gorgeous, healthy hair. I've been growing it out for a few months and if you see my previous videos, you can see how it's been progressing. So I decided maybe I should document this because it's finally at a length that I can style. So it's exciting because I have something to work with. I washed my hair today with Viviscal Volumizing Shampoo and I also use the serum that comes with the Viviscal shampoo and conditioner because I wanted massive volume. So for the past month or so, I've been doing a lot of deep conditioning treatments. I have been using the Restore from Kevin Murphy, which is strengthening and moisturizing treatment, but it kind of felt like my hair was starting to feel a little bit weighed down. So I was at a point where I was like, I just want like really fluffy hair, especially if you have fine hair, you know the struggle with getting really nice fluffy hair. Okay, let's get into the video. I have a little bit of length now my hair is not really a traditional pixie grow out because I had a shag for a minute if you guys go back to my older videos you will see that I had my hair kind of doing this like I wanted to do a mullet at some point like I wanted to do this but I cannot stand having hair on my face I love when my hair is slicked back and I'm pretty sure that when it's growing out and longer I'm gonna have it up most of the time. I also have hair that grows forward so whenever you are gonna style your hair you always go with the hair growth pattern of your natural hairline. So I'm gonna show you today how I am going to curl my hair. I already put in the Untangled from Kevin Murphy which is a detangling leave-in conditioning spray. It smells incredible, it's very lightweight and also has heat protection. I have a wand. This one has multiple Multiple heads. I was thinking of using the smaller wand because the first thing I wanted to go to because I have short like technically shorter hair but if I were to curl my hair like this I'm gonna end up with ringlets that are gonna be really difficult to brush out so I want more like Marilyn Monroe kind of waves really feminine pretty waves if I'm curling for a client I would probably curl it out but where my hair grows forward I'm gonna be curling forward so if you have a hairline where your hair grows like almost pushes itself down then you have to follow that growth now let's get started I'm just gonna start at the top I'm just gonna make the first section I'm just using my index finger to separate the hair you don't want to hair, take hair that is too thick or too thin. You want to take enough to be able to curl the hair. So this is actually like a really good section. So you can kind of see through it. And I'm following the natural growth pattern. And I'm going to grab my uh, wand. It is on 410 degrees, which is quite a lot actually. Maybe I'll put it on 360, which is nice and comfortable for my hair. So I'm not frying it, especially because it has been bleached twice and I'm trying to grow it out as healthy as possible. So the less heat, the better. And the kind of curl I'm gonna do really matters. If you wanna do really clean ribbon curls, then you do what's called a flat wrap. And if you wanna do, ooh, see, it's already like taking the wave. My hair is very fine, so it takes the wave right away. But if you want it to be like a different kind of messy curl, this is gonna be a different one. You grab it like this, and then you twist it as you take it around the wand. Now be careful with your fingers. I get my fingers burnt all the time. And you just kind of wiggle it and let it go. And then you want to pull it a little bit, just kind of tug on it, just to give it that wave. And take the next section, just gonna go around the head. Using a wand and just kind of random curling, there's, there's a method to all of this chaos. You're going around the round of the head, but it's also a little bit random. So I'm going to grab this piece of hair and same thing. I'm just going to twist it and I'm taking it forward, not back because my hair grows forward. If I were to take it back, I don't know. It just never sits proper. It's usually a nightmare to style. And then I'm just going to tug this because if I don't look at what happens, the hair is just going to stick out and I don't want to do that. I was also contemplating, I should say, that I was going to use my mini flat iron, but this would have been a lot of damage and I don't like the control that I have with a flat iron. I really enjoy the control that I have with a wand. And wands make your hair fluffier. If you have fine hair, then wands are your best friend because they keep the hair really, really fluffy and the hair is going, the curl is actually going to last much longer than if you use a flat iron. 
because it just gives more volume. It gives you more room to play with. So I'm just kind of like wiggling it and pull it out. So if you had gone any smaller than this, like with this wand, this would have given me really serious ringlet curls and I would have hated it. So this is at 360, which I like. It's warm, it's not hot. My hair is still relatively healthy. You can see it's still shiny. You don't hear fizzing noise that happens when you're frying your hair. It has happened before, I've heard it. So I'm just going width around my head. I have very fine hair. I've always had really thin hair. So the curls are gonna give me a lot of bounce, which is a lot of fun. Oh, there, I didn't even leave that for like a second before it took the curl. And it helps when I use the Viviscal treatment too, or any kind of hair loss treatment, like if you're using Nioxin or the Kevin Murphy body mass, those kinds of treatments that you put on the scalp with a hair growth system are usually meant to make the hair thicker, gritty. They're meant to hold your style. So very, very nice for a fine hair if you're looking for something that's kind of all in one. It's a treatment for your scalp and um, also gives you grit and, and fullness. I'm taking this section, it's a little bit thicker than the other ones, but that's okay. So random sections is totally fine. And I'm curving it all in the same direction. So this is gonna give me kind of glam-ish waves. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't curled my hair at this length yet. So this is a testing tutorial with you. I looked at my hair and I was like, oh my God, it's so fluffy. There's length there, I'm so happy about it. Let's curl it and let's, uh, let's put it on video. So this is the first section. This would be like the bang or the fringe. It just naturally falls forward. If I were to curl it back, which I've done before, it hates it. Like it literally just ends up pushing itself down and it goes flat like this. So I don't recommend it. It just makes me look super funny. So to get the maximum volume, I'm gonna pull it up towards the sky, the ceiling, pinch it in the middle and twist wrap. Just like a beach wrap, I guess. This is not a flat wrap. I have to check the names on the curls. Oh my God, it's so cute. Pull at it or tug on the ends. Don't run your fingers through it. I don't like doing that. So the ends are a little bit straight. They are pretty, they're not damaged anymore. They were damaged. I've been using castor oil, leaving the castor oil on for a few days. It actually, I think it penetrates the hair. I really like it. And I've been using the Kevin Murphy Restore treatment. So my ends are feeling much nicer than they used to. So if you notice here, my hair growth pattern goes forward. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna start where I left off, back here. Some of us have different crowns. So we don't all have one crown in the back of our head. I find with a lot of uh, fine hair people like myself, we have two sometimes, or even if we have one crown, it just tends to be super flat. So the trick here is to create volume on the areas that are generally just super flat and annoying to work with. So the more you work with the natural hair growth pattern and your natural texture, the less frustrated you're going to be. I'm just gonna take this one and I'm just gonna move around the head, take this down. Ooh, it's hot. This one is pretty short, so. Ooh. When you start doing this, you wanna know where you're gonna part your hair and how you want it to fall, kind of have a vision for it. I just love how much heat makes hair shiny and I also hate it at the same time. It's a bit of a love-hate relationship. So these pieces are shorter. For shorter pieces, you can create just a tiny bend. It's literally, it's called a bend. It's not a curl, it's like a half curl. And let it go. I'm gonna tuck it down because I don't want volume next to my ear. I'm probably gonna tuck this back. See how much volume you get with a curling iron. If I were to do this with a flat iron, this would be totally flat. As it's warm, you wanna shape it. So when the hair is still hot or warm, that's when you wanna shape the curl. Don't just leave it, you have to kind of set it. And then once it cools, then it takes on that shape. Okay, now moving on here. So my crown is here and it tends to be super flat and everyone thinks I have a bald spot in the back of my head just because that's just how my hair is. And um, I did have hair loss when I was 17 because I was on Accutane, so that wasn't fun. So now I'm gonna switch my arm and I'm taking this with my left arm and be careful with this and take it under. And the reason I'm not using my right arm, I'm right-handed is because if I do it like this, then the natural instinct is to go up 
which would totally ruin your curl. It would make it go up instead of down. So under and out. Oh, yeah, I just burned myself again. Same thing here. Watch your forehead. And I'm wiggling just at the root. Even this hair pushes forward. You can switch up your wand size, so you can use larger wands and smaller ones as you're moving around the head. So this is starting to look cute. I really like this a lot. So now we're moving on to the back. Now the back is difficult. You almost have to know what your head looks like. like. Give it a feel. Okay, so we've got a little bit here. I'm just taking the middle, whatever I can get, and I'm just using my index finger to take this. So it's just a straight horizontal section, and I'm gonna curl under. Now the hair in the back is longer than the front. That's just the way. And it's also stronger and generally healthier than the front part of our hair. So you can give it a little bit more damage, like you could probably use higher heat on those areas than in the front. The front is generally where we see most of our breakage. Our hair is very fine. It's very fragile. It breaks very easy. So what I've done is from here, crown forward, sides. Now I'm doing the back and then I'll come around the areas behind the ears. So now that the back is done, I'm gonna come in around the sides. I'm gonna go under and do the same thing. grabbing the, the hairs that haven't been curled and curling them. Okay, so this is basically it. I'm just gonna brush it out using a wide tooth comb. I don't wanna brush this out, this feels so good. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go in like this. I'm gonna add a little bit of powder grip from Redken. Practically every brand has something like this. It's basically a powder, a volumizing powder that you can put in your roots and it will give you a great volume. So just here. A lot of you guys wonder, what do I do about this area here? Like everywhere else I have hair, it's just the front or you might part your hair, but it's super flat here. So you basically just take the bang area and you apply this powder. You can also tease a little bit, but I don't want to do that. And I'm just applying it on the areas where I like my volume. I don't mind these coming out. You can always use a little bit of pomade or something. I'm going to put this around my crown too, because that's generally the area that gets super flat over time. So if you have an event you're going to, don't be afraid to put a lot of this in because the powder, even though it's white, it doesn't have any residue. Like it doesn't really leave much residue. So this is the struggle of hair that is growing out. You don't know what it's doing. It's kind of has a mind of its own. You have to work with it. You can't work against it because if it gets mad, you're gonna be very frustrated. So you always have to use it as a way of like kind of learning about your hair and just do what it wants you to do. So don't fight all of these little pieces. I think this is looking super cute. If you have a shorter haircut and you don't know what to do, the styling options are very limited. You can always use hair accessories. You've got hair bands, you've got cute curly styles like this. And finding the right products are really, really important because your products are gonna be your finishing. Let me know if you guys have questions. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You know what to do. Follow me on Instagram, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.